Only no. about here. So this is this is a way to think about how you can program the robot. It's also a really nice way to get kids interested in robotics. So like the glass. Yeah, that's how people uh, have programmed it to do these different dances. Um, we had this a different version of the interface at um, something called Hack the Future, where kids come for a day and basically do like a day hackathon to learn how to program. Um, and kids have done things like. Uh, place the game of charades, so they're supposed to make the robot convey some idea, and they've done fishing or, or swim. And, uh, We've actually had one uh, uh, doggy, or like dog? we've had a dog uh, we've had hello, and it was pretty interesting because you would admit, you would think it'd be like this, the kid had it do this. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, I didn't realize that was hello. We've had the kids program hug. Um, we had a great kid, uh, a young kid to have a bug with hug. Oh. Uh, they they were programming to hug, and so you get the robot's pose to be something like this, and then something like this, and then something like this. Um, and this was a relatively young girl, um, and and then she had her mom suggested that she should have a kiss too, so the head comes down like this, so it's kind of a kiss. And that was really cute. So then she went up to it. Oh, so the last thing I didn't say, she's got the remote control. When the kids finish their program on the simulator. Um, they upload it, they basically say, okay, it's ready, and then Sharon will give them that remote control and they're able to run their program themselves on the real robot, get the type of So that's kind of the, the kicker. When kids come up and say, look at this robot, can I play with it? And say, first you have to program, then you get to play, right? And, and so that's what's pretty good. Uh, anyway, this, this girl did it, we, we programmed the hug, and, and she got, the robot ran her program. She got close to it, are you doing it now? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you do this, you get close, and, and um, so she got to this point where the robot is looking He's like, come here, come here, give me a hug. Okay. <laughs> this is a longer hug program than I'm used to. Um, you see, I obviously trust this part of it. <laughs> <laughs> so you get this cute thing, right? Imagine this little girl about this tall. She's got this thing hugging her. And the end of her program, like, that's the end. So there's no escape. There's like, <laughs> there's like a bug in the program, right? I forgot to unhug. Um, so that was fun. Um, okay, so those are our three kind of high-level things. The, the Robots for Humanity, I think, is a really big one. It's not a huge market in terms of and, you know, financial impact on the world, but a huge impact to somebody who has no ability to impact their world. To imagine having a robot someday that can do that, that that's really compelling to me. Asushi is pushing on auto autonomous operation of these mobile manipulators, pushing on all the problems there. And then this one is programming, it's pushing on how do we make these robots easier to program. Um, and, and accessible to many more people. Uh, obviously this robot, this PR2 retails if you want one, uh, it's $400,000. Uh, <laughs> if you do open source software and you're willing to contribute to the community, it's only 280000 so that's a pretty good deal. Uh, it is, actually, it's a really good deal if you're a robotics lab, right? Because building it yourself would actually cost you a lot more than that. For individuals, I'm not, nobody's bought one yet. <laughs> I've even tried like Larry Page. And um, but uh, the I mean, we're working on kind of a next generation that will be less expensive, like a lot less expensive, and a little bit smaller. This is a little bit intimidating. This is at its full height. It goes up and down, but it's still, it's 450 pounds and it's big, um, and a little bit lighter, right? Those three things are things that we're looking at in kind of a next generation platform that will be uh, hopefully usable to do tasks like helping Henry scratch his nose and affordable to more than just Henry, uh, but to a range of products.